Okay, uh, take a look at this uh, crew of men back here. It's a pack of young men who've ripped off four shoe stores and made their escape on bicycles. The LAPD really wants to catch them before they can strike again. KCAL News reporter Leslie Mudding live in downtown LA with a look at the videos and the investigation. Leslie. Yeah, one, as you said, the getaway car is not a car. These suspects believe, police believe, are getting away on bicycles. That is why they are now releasing video. They're hoping someone may be able to identify this group of nearly 10 to 20 people. Watch as a mob of people wearing masks and hoodies run into a WSS shoe store. As quickly as they get in, they get out. But this time with piles of clothes and shoes in hand. Where they are in and out generally in under a minute or so. Lieutenant Michael McComas heads LAPD's organized retail crime task force. He's seen many videos like this of flash robberies. What makes this one unique? He says the suspects could be as young as 15 years old and may even attend LAUSD schools near the stores they're targeting. What we've discovered is they are riding bicycles, uh, BMX style bicycles. Um, to the areas where the stores are that they're targeting. LAPD says the mob of 10 to 20 suspects may be responsible for a robbery a week since March 3rd. So far, police say they have targeted only WSS shoe stores. Two in historic South Central, one in Boyle Heights, and another in the Southgate area. We went to two of the locations, but employees could not speak on camera. I'm tired of it. Everyone I talked to, we're, we're just tired. So what is the solution? LA native April Moore blames flash robberies on the lack of accountability. She fears if it continues, retailers will continue to pull out of communities, especially low income ones. There are barely enough retail stores as it is. If you keep having this, no one wants to be in these areas. According to McComas, his team of officers have seen a drop in flash robberies across the city. We have not had any major uh, incidents since I would say November, to be honest. Which is why they're now blasting these videos to the public. So that we can, one, get the crime stopped, and two, work with the families of these young people to, you know, hopefully help them to get their, their kids to stop doing this. And police tell me so far these suspects haven't physically hurt anyone, but they have been aggressive with both witnesses and workers at these stores. They're hoping these crimes can stop before things escalate. Reporting live, Leslie Marine, KCAL News. Yeah, thanks, Leslie. Hope they get that under control. Thank mm -hmm. you very much.